like a chain. Good flashing, boy. Good flashing. Hey, did you change the battery pack for chance? Yes, I did. Here we go again. Where's the game? In the water already. Huh? In the water already.
sort of Queen Akron. Yes, well, we're sort of between Akron, Canton, and Maslin. Maslin. Well, that's just our mailing address. We're just stuck in the middle there. Hi, Nicole. Hi. What did David do? You see those two right here? He took the ropes down. Oh, right. There are two of them. Hi. One thing we do a lot of when we come to Florida. That's I'm standing in line. I wouldn't Not do it. What are you planning on getting to eat, David? David, you might suck. What are you going to eat? You know? How about you, Renee? Do you know what you're going to get? Chicken. What? Chicken sandwich basket. Ooh, that sounds delicious. That's what I'm getting. I get your raisins if you get them, okay? Huh? Get raisins, no. I get them. No, no, you don't. Well, we'll wrestle for them. Yes. David, don't. David. David knew it as he does that one more time. He's going to spank the lightning out of him or something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have your attention, please? Here comes Daddy with that poor looking look on his face. Woo! And the kids will be thrilled to have their milk. That's right. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Now, let's set the stage. You folks out there in TV land are going to notice that... This is going to be awful quiet for the rest of the evening it this sure Sunday, is. June, what is it, June 5th, 1988? I think. June 4th or 5th, 1988. It's Sunday night. We're, right now we're in the parking lot of the uh, Walt Disney World Shopping Village at Lake Buena Vista. Just going to pan around a little bit here. Carol and I are going out for our 17th wedding anniversary. We decided to postpone the celebration until we came down to Disney World. We're going to go over to the Empress Lily and eat. And we're going to celebrate our 17th anniversary. Carol is starting to trim down a little bit. I'm working on it. Yep. We're not going to have her turn around and show us the butt yet. Watch it. Okay. Because I don't have a barrel lens adapter on this camera. <laughs> oh, that little bump there was me getting a kick in the butt. I well deserve one. I don't. I, hey, I don't have to take that kind of credit all over from anybody. Oh, shut up! I can't help it if I never eat. bought a barrel adapter. Come on. Okay. Mouth. Now here, I want to go down and get a shot of Pleasure Island. See how it's coming. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm good at this stuff. Oh no, no, no! I don't have a camera. Ooh. That it was. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Come on. Stick your head out the window. There she is on the old Pleasure Island Express. 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 The lips have to work properly in order to talk. Chick's always looking for some pleasure, carnal or otherwise. Gary! Let's see, they got any of those shrubs around here that I like? Empress Lily in the shopping village. That's where we're heading. Come on, you old stinker. Get up Wait there. Wait a minute. I'll take a picture of you. Now, Gary's decided it's his turn. Stick your head out. Are you, are you filming? I'm filming. Oh, are you having fun? Now, stick the other end out. How was that? Did you? Oh, caca. Turn the Wait, other end back. Did you get me moon? Did you get my... Uh... I got your half moon. Okay. I want to see the other end. It was better looking. Huh? It was better looking, the other end. That's what all the other, that's what the women want too, but I can't do that. Well, I've had my ride. Now let's, uh, let's go down into the shopping village. I've had my fun. You moron, get going. Okay. Come on. You are weird. Huh? You're weird. I know, but I get, I get on these things so seldom. You got to do your thing. I got to do my thing whenever I can. You hardly ever see me on these tapes. Well, this proves you're here. Because I'm too busy orchestrating, narrating, and directing, producing. And yak, 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 yak. The whole shot. Okay. okay take your bow. Okay. I don't know how to take a bow. I'm just, that's it.
Pleasure Island in the process of being built. Pleasure Island, soon to open in the summer of 1988. Doesn't look like they're going to make it on time. What do we have there? Oh, Goofy, Morty, and Ferdy watching. What are they watching? It looks like they lost the station. Little, little TV action, huh? Uh, Goofy's got enough food there to eat up, feed an army. What's that? Right back there into the old Team Mickey shop, right? Yes. People in there spending their coins. Lots of coins. See that popcorn? Doesn't that look yummy? That po so pop look popcorn plastic. looks real. It's plastic. Look at that dog. That, that Goofy can eat. Look, just look at his feet. Where? Whose feet? Goofy's. Well, he's got his shoes on, whatever those things are. Look at his kinda, shoes, but look how big they are. He's kind of sloppy. That's the goof. Yep. Where? Where? What? What do you want me to get? Okay. I hear Mary Poppins. By golly, I sure do. There she is. Carol told me to get Goofy, so I thought I'd get both of them. Goof and Goofy. I still hear Mary Poppins. Oh, there. It's Monday morning, and guess what? Surprise, David surprise. is out here with yet another pair of Jam. new jams. Look at that sucker. And he's got his sunglasses, and there's nobody around, and I bet I know what I feel welling up inside of him. He can hardly contain himself with the anticipation he wants to do a cool walk. All right, put those shades on. Let me see you with come your on, shades, boy. Your come on out here, David. I'll come out here. I'll do one too, David. <gasps> Renee, let me see you do a cool walk. I think I left my glasses at home. I think Mommy might be a lifesaver. Huh? Mommy might be a lifesaver and I might suck. You might be a, oh nuts. Oh great. Hang on a minute. There, I got my shoes tied. Now I'm back in business. I'm gonna do a better cool walk than David ever dreamed of. Let me see your cool walk. Where's your bucket Oh, look at Renee. She's got her shade. She's going to do a cool walk. Oh, she's doing the cool shuffle. <laughs> Let's see that again. Let's see that again, Renee. <laughs> one more time. Let me see it one more time. First time moonwalk. I loved it here at Fort Wilderness. Hey, David. David, little boy. Little son, let me see a cool walk. David, come on, I've got your new jams. Come on up here close where I can see you. Yeah, 
Where's David, Renee? He's up there. Turk and uh What kind of a day are we going to have here in Florida on Monday, June fifth or sixth, nineteen eighty eight? Huh? Yeah, I want all that. That's what kind of a day we're going to have, just like we've been having. 90 to 95 degrees, good old swimming weather, and here we are. Renee doing another cool walk. Yet another, and she really gives me some cool walk. Hey, Renee, that's the worst. I guess the green though. All right. David. Hey, David, if you can do a better one, let me see it. You get my watch and everything? I believe you do one like this. This is David's cool walk, Daddy. Wait a minute, let me see it. <laughs> That's a cool pick. <laughs> David. David, let me see your cool walk now, son. I think David's cool walk is a good one. Hurry up, my ah! Hey, David. Come on, son, hurry up. My back is real sore and I'm having trouble holding the camera. Hurry. Take the hint. Turn it off. Here. There's a little cart to take everything over to river country. I'm going to be changing my mind if we don't get going. There's David in his new jams. All right. He wanted me to tape those jams, and I taped them, and now he's carting his stuff over. Okay, here we go. Not too fast. Come on, get... Renee, please come this way. Come on, Boots. Check out Renee. Renee, honey, come on. Come on check and there's out. Renee hauling the cart over to Fort Wilderness. It's loaded with all our goods. Is it heavy boots? Maybe we ought to try and get a bus and see if a bus will take us over with that thing. Let's try. They take wheelchairs. It's crawlers. Ah, I never get tired of seeing Fort Wilderness parking lot. Especially on a gorgeous day like today. Where are you going, son? Don't pull on my arm. I hear school. You do? Well, go on out there and let me hear that. Who do you, who do you hear? School. Why, what's she doing? Barking. Barking at the moon, huh? One more time for oh. his score on... Oh, 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 oh. There she goes. Hi. Quiet down, school. Hey, wait a minute, David. Why don't you pet that little doggie? Oh, that's a, is that a Cocker Spaniel? That's what I thought. Uh-oh, here comes my daughter. Candy? That's a Cocker Spaniel, honey. A cute dog. That's, she's just a puppy, isn't she? Should be your 4th of July. 4th of July? Go easy. Go easy, huh? Well, come on, let's go on, kids. Well, what do you say, Boots? There's not a soul around here but you, me, Mom, and David. Uh, that's me. But Daddy, come see this. Come see what? This. Over here. Is this what you wanted me to come and see? Uh-huh. What is it? This is where they got the wah-wah from. The where they get the wah-wah from the train that they used to run around here? Yep. David and I were checking this out yesterday. Yep, we were checking this out yesterday, as a matter of fact. I even showed you this. What? In here? Let me see. The hole? Yes. Yes, he said that there's some things in there with numbers on them. No, it says O equals N, 1 equals 120V. Red 120V, I think, is 120 volts. That's what's V8, and orange equals F6. That's right. That's kind of what he read. Kind of what he read to me yesterday. Only he, did, he couldn't reach up that far to see it. I loved your cool walk boots. Oh, it was great. Well, come on, let's go. Hey, look, Daddy, what, what are those words in a 
in that, um, you know, bed knobs and broomsticks. Filigree epigee pedigree, you know. Oh, boom, or something like that. Come on, there's a bus over there, Boo. <coughs> ah, the old pack mule. Bringing it up. I don't get no response. The old skinny pack mule. showing the rear. Yeah, well, that's true. With his face stuck on that pack. Always. That's pretty neat. And they even caught to find out what's all over here. Go ahead. Go ahead, honey. Hey, Renee, what are you doing? What are you doing and what are you attempting to do? Renee? You want to tell me? What are you trying to do? Wait. You're trying to wait? No. Whatever, this is boring. I'm to go I found out what Renee's doing. He pulled a packet. Switching. And she had a 46 to 15. One packet lost. David's trying to match the color. And it's a lot harder than it looks. Fast enough. Try it again next time. Did you hit the I'm done one? Oh. Mommy liked to do it. I, I like to try again, please. All right, go ahead. The number one. Two. Okay, match that area. Be careful not to hit the I'm done. Probably take a little more red than that, though. Well, you're getting there, aren't you? David's fascinated with this color you game. Blue. Thank you. Take more to this blue, sweetheart. Asking for a hint on the computer. No. Hint. A little bit. Hint. Look, look, wait a minute. Look how close you are here, David. Look how close. Don't just move little bits now. Oh, you just went up to... Try there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Up. 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 Left. Left. Turn right. Right. Oh, it would be up, wouldn't it? I'm sorry. Up. Right. Yeah! Got the cheese. He drinks all the drinks. I did it. Thanks for the cheese. David, who gave him the cheese? Me. Who's me? Oh, I David, no. Not your turn, David. David's now putting the message on the phaser. Hello, my name is Fraser. May I have a word from you? Type something. Okay. Now this. Look. Yeah, we've come a thousand miles and spend plenty of money just so you can sit in the air conditioning, right? Oh, I could have saved money. We could have stayed home. Here's Renee still at the computer terminal. What game are we playing now, Renee? A crocodile. No, this is part two of the treasure hunt. Ah, keep going. What are you working on now, David? This should look like a nightmare. It's so real and so familiar, Gary. A computer terminal. Yes, you're master. Your computer is dialing. Ready answer. Correction A. Test is complete. Ready. The connection has been made between your computer and Tom's. They have exchanged handshake signals and are ready to communicate. You may type your own message or send a prepared message which has been stored in this computer. Would you prefer type your own one or send a previous prepared message to two? What are you going to do? One. Okay. Then think of a message. What's that? One. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hold your fascination. Better come from out of that corral, David. Come out of there. You're not allowed back in there. What's that horse getting, huh? That's probably what you could use right now, hose down with the cold. Uh... They can't wash them up. What do you think, David? Where is he? Where are you going, David? Was it fun, little son? Oh, was it? You had fun it? over at Epcot today, huh? Get him. What's his name? Oh, I don't know. That's a funny. That's a funny name. I don't know. I don't. Why are we petting Jerry Springer? No, Gary Simpson's behind the camera. That's I don't know that's getting a bath. You know, I'm not sure, but I think, uh, isn't he slated? Didn't he win the Kentucky Derby a couple years ago? Old I don't know. No, that's Gary Simpson. Okay. Fat butt, fat butt. Gary is fat butt. Is that you right? Him. Oh, boy, that horse is getting all cleaned up, isn't he? Huh? Yeah, Were you funny. petting him, Renee? Yeah. Gary? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see you pet that horse. Oh, look at David getting brave. Well, <laughs> I am brave. I don't just get don't wet. Get... Ah! It won't feel good, David. Here. Wait a minute. Take this off. Take your sunglasses off. And go try and get wet. Boy, that horse is real clean now. Now the other one's getting it. Now go over there, Dan, and see if you can go get some water. No, over by the other one. Oh, look at David petting that the huge other, the horse. Other, the other the horse is trying to get a drink from it. See? He's getting a drink, too. I love it. Where's Boots? And I wasn't that funny. He got it in his I didn't see that. He gets to the house. Got it in his mouth and then he went, no, I don't know, no. Here comes the no, tram, kid. No, I don't, no. No, Gary, Here no. comes the tram, kid. Tram. There's not very many people getting on for their trip when you come up. What'd you say, little boy? Uh, hey, put those shades on. Let's see how they look. They're pretty good. Ah, yeah. Don't hit, don't hit. David goes Hollywood. David goes Hollywood, Renee goes into Renee Land. David goes into David Land. David, let me see you there, boy. Give me a big, now, you, you gave me the look, now give me the smile. Let's see those teeth. <laughs> uh, you may have trouble with the girls when we get older, bud.
David got hungry and said, Wait a minute, folks. Right here at the tram station, I need to have a picnic. New jams and all, that boy needed vittles. Renee, she needed vittles too. Look at her scarfing it down. You don't know this. This is my second sandwich. Is it really? Yep. That little girl was hungry. Look at David. Oh, and David, he says, I want a hunk of that Swiss cheese. Yeah, Give me that good stuff. Either. Tomato. You do love your Swiss cheese, don't you, boy? Hey, boy. You do love your Swiss cheese, don't you? Oh, mommy. I bet you you're wrong. Look. What? David, where's that bad fellow bird that I hear chirping? Where's that bird, boy? I hear it chirping. What are you eating, son? Is that bird in back of me? Uh-oh. Battery's low. Gotta cut it off. <gasps> ah, did you notice how fast I got that battery changed? You out there in TV land? That, that was record. That could be the next day for all they know. That was record time. Record time. No, David still has his sandwich in his hand and he still has his cheese. Where's your cheese, boy? Boy, where's your cheese? Did you eat that sucker? No, See? It's right here. See, he didn't eat all the cheese, and he's still eating on his sandwich. And Renee's, in fact, she's still putting stuff on her sandwich that she was just telling us about, her second one. Yes. So I did a great job, didn't I, boy? Say yeah. Say yes, you did, oh great one. Say yes, you did, oh great one. How many did you pack for us? I only had two, because that's all that was in the refrigerator. You bought more. So here we are at the tram station that takes us over to River Country. We're having a paper. picnic. We're out here at the main parking lot of Fort Wilderness. Not in our usual spot, but we have to diversify every once in a while. Change it around. Besides, Dave was so, was so hungry he couldn't wait. And it's raining. And it's raining a little bit. We're getting one of those typical Flor Florida afternoon showers, although it's still, it's at least 90 degrees, even <laughs> though it's showering. And of course, I showed you earlier in the tape what the day started out like. Well, that's the way it was most of the morning and uh, and or all of the morning and uh, most of the afternoon. Eat those pretzels, you foob! Down those suckers, Renee. I need a few pretzels. There's water over there. There's a drinking fountain. You don't have to go thirsty. That's mine. Well, I'm going to wind up filming this picnic because and I'm tired of having the camera shoved in my face. Now, here I am out in Fort Wilderness back in the back of the place in no man's land. Look at that jungle out there. Solid jungle. You'll notice some brown. I, I probably don't even have to say this, but on the vegetation where you see all this brown that could only be one thing one thing you know it what's coming up a residual of Scoo's breath when she was down here at Easter time these plants are just starting to recover there's a natural little alleyway that heads all the way back out to the street David would love to play back here if he knew this was back here but he doesn't know anything about it Another quick shot of out here in the wilderness at Fort Wilderness. I have more shots of this place than I know what to do with. On June 6th, Monday, June 6th, 1988. And I hear boots right out there. There's, your, there's a, a tunnel right there. There's a secret passage back there, David. Nobody knows about this back here. David says, I better check it out. Come on back here. I'll show you the real secret passage. Come on, turn to your right. Turn to your right. Your right. No, no. Go all the way back here where the camera's going. Secret passage. If you see any snakes, come rushing back. In fact, maybe you better come rushing back. In. Oh, the clouds are starting to break up. This, this storm didn't amount to squat. Go on out there, Bootsy. Yeah. It's a little girl with a bony butt. Trying to give me some moves. Giving me squat, kids. 
I see a little bunny in the bushes. Oh, it's, it's like um, little bunnies and stuff. Is that who told you that? Who told you those are moles instead of bunnies? Some older kid. Is that right? Well, here's David in the secret passage back behind the tram station at Fort Wilderness, and he's loving it. And now he says, I'm heading back to the tram station. Oh, he found another secret passage. Watch out for snakes, boy. There could be poisonous snakes back in there. Come on out. Rush on through. There he goes. All right, the little foob. There goes David, trying to hide. Now we're going to go over to the Fleetwood RV Fair. The official RVs of Fort Wilderness, Fleetwoods. What, where is everybody? There they go, Renee, trying to style. Where's David? There goes David with his new jams. All right, look at that boy's jams. Ah, David, <laughs> trying to hide from the old camera and he can't do it. He simply can't do it down here at Fort Wilderness. Now here we are checking out the old RV. This is the way to travel. Wishing that we could afford one of these suckers. This one is 62000 It's got a dinette. It's got a kitchen cookie air, air conditioning. Look at the TV. It's got the kids back there. It's got a TV. It's all wood inside, real wood. Here's a video cassette player. And all for a mere $62,000, right, David? Yeah. Did that one come with? What does that one come with? Tell me. Yes. Yeah. And what else? It's on. It's on what? And what else? Yes. Okay, set them down. Just and tell me. Silverware. And plastic silverware. That's great. Come on. Let's go. You see that sunshine? Those showers only lasted for five minutes, and here we are, back again with sunshine at 4.30 in the afternoon. And heading back to the mobile. Fort Wilderness Pet Care and Kennel. Canine gains foods. David, open that door again. <coughs> no, come on. Open the door again. There he goes. Who are you looking for in there, boy? Lady in the trunk. Okay. Who are you looking for in there? Okay, let it close, David. Who were you looking for? David? David? Who were you looking for? Old Scoots? That was the yawn of the week. What are you eating now? Mommy Moo! That's also Mommy Moo. Yeah. Well, Renee, you want to tell us what we're doing here? Well, no, sorry, but I'm going to tell a story to this young folk right well, here. Well, first tell us what we're doing. We're sitting down and relaxing while Daddy goes to get the van. How hot is that van? 101 degrees. Or more. It's going to be hot and sweltery and we conned daddy into going and getting it by the time he gets here most well, of the hot will be out was that a stupid idea or was that a brilliant idea brilliant well it happened back in 1846 the big drought of all okay. the west well all the rain all up and disappeared all the cowboys they were choking and coughing because there was only dust for them to breathe in no moisture in the air Oh, they were hot like it is today, if not 101 degrees hotter. It was so hot you could see sweat dripping off their faces. But it just so happens my great grand grand, great great grand, peppy and grandma were back there. Ah, my grandma, yes she was, she was the best. Hey, I tell you the David, best. David, this is a fascinating story. The whole world west. Is it? Okay. She could cook them so they would fly. Cook what? So it would fly. The boys should cook the stuff so good that it would make them fly for more. Fly to the table, that is. Have you ever heard the old saying, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach? Yep, and that's what she did. Only then she, first she met my grandpappy. And she was already married when she got down there. 
when my grandpappy was old. So she cooked them great. Up, she up cooked them great meals. Throw them back straight into that fight when he got them. See, there's Indians, engines. Engines and them there, hell. Ah, oh, poor cousin. Cuzzy Wuzzy got shot with bow and arrow in his arm. He's okay. You'll, you'll forgive me if I fall asleep with you, Renee. But I hurt. But then, the big fight. They fought. They used cannons, because there was one little cannon back in the west. It was a plastic, I mean a wooden cannon. But then it goes bang! Bang, 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 bang! And let me tell you something. If you don't wake up, I'm going to kick them to shins. Now here, here comes Daddy. They got into the saloon. They got into a fight. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Todd's a good name for it. <laughs> Can you tell me what we're doing out here over by guest relations? Well, Mommy and I got a pass home just an hour away. You forgot your passes at home, so instead we're out here shooting palm trees and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. How about the main thing you're shooting? Uh, the main thing is Renee's Mickey and Minnie shirt. Let's see that bad fellow. No. It's you. I thought Mickey and Minnie was the main thing I was shooting here. Huh? No you way. Told me you to turn so here we are at the. Uh, <laughs> Did you hear me? At the Ticket and Transportation Center. Ow! Killing a little bit of time until I can get Renee and Carol into the park. We're going to Epcot Center for Sticky Bun. Well, Mom's in there getting it handled, whatever she's doing. Look at the pus pouring in. Hey, that's not too bad. All right, talk to me, sweet cheeks. And then there's a little girl trying to give me action, but she can't. Let's see some of them cool walks and slip and sliding away. Cool walk time, huh? Yeah. <laughs> ah, she won't believe this in years to come. Is there a girl back there? <laughs> I wish they all could be California. Wish they all could be California. Wish they all could be California girls. The East Coast has the women, and those girls can't get so tan. I need the California girls with the chicken the thigh. Grab them with your hand. Is your mom done over there yet? I'm tired of killing. Is she coming? All right, old smoke me. What do you got? All right, that's great. We can go? Let's take the monorail then. Watch out, Renee. There's some uh, totem poles over there that are full of evil spirits. Here, Renee. Come on, give me your bottle. Open your mouth. That'll scare them away. Okay? Just blow on them a little bit. That'll. Wait, to the left. You guys want to go to the left. All right. Oh, yeah, you guys look just like it. Yeah. Raise your armpits a little bit there, Renee. Okay, that scared all the evil spirits away. <laughs> you getting fat on me, girl? Man, is that ugly.
Well, we can go to the Polynesian. All right, we'll walk over to the Poly. No big hurry today. And not the po we're at the Poly, the great ceremonial house. I know everything that we have to do. Where are you going, Boots? Oh boy, those flowers smell so good and they're so pretty. Underneath that palm tree here at the Polynesian. Something smells good because I can smell it. Over there, they smell like cake. Where are you heading, Boots? Great Ceremonial House. What are you going to do at the Great Ceremonial House? I know, have a ceremony, right? Yeah. You're going to do a dance, right? Yeah. A cool walk? Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, go on, on through there, Turks. There they go. Still heading to the Great Ceremonial House. Hey Boots, who is that over there in the corner, huh? Oh, that's Farmer Mickey. Farmer Mickey, and where is he? At the land? What's he growing? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Hey, hey, hey! Don't don't pull those things out of there. There's also some lettuce, nice looking lettuce. Like Renee, don't touch the things. Onion! A plex of plans. A mansion now. Bigger than mine. Look at the what are those see them growing. Roots or squares? I think it's supposed to be a root system. You take and the leaves, on the leaves, stems, from the air, and, and water. The you bury these just the leaves. Plants all in the way of the factory. Which make up a part of the land. The land area is this. Boots and buff. What are you checking out, Boots? 
Yeah. Is that real ivory? No, it has a hollow sound. It has a hollow sound? I don't think ivory has a hollow sound. It's a fiberglass. They come from a fiberglass breed of animals. A fiberglass elephant, And they have polyester huh? hair. Oh, Renee, that's a big improvement. <laughs> a big improvement. So is that. Good boots, good. A little bit like, now there's a good shot right there. Come on, bony butt, let's go. Okay, come on, enough is enough, let's go. Where? Over on the pier across from Old Canada. Okay. I didn't, I got some of it. What's this bad fellow right here? I probably scare Scoo senseless. What was in there? Yeah. Ask him if I can hit it once. Yeah. And I go bang, 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 and I go. I don't know how to count. He let you hit it, huh? You don't know how to count, huh? Yeah, because I said once, and I hit it like nine times. Is that right? She had her fun. I have to go in here. What is this? Oh, Canada. <laughs> 